Já, um, næsti fyrirlesari hjá okkur uh, ætla líka að hafa erindi sitt á ennsku. Það er Lucy Fressel sem er meistaranemandi við háskóla í París í Frakklandi. Og erindi á hennar uh, uh, fyrirlesari er Assessing the Potential and Opportunities of Continuous Cover Forestry in Iceland. Welcome Lucy. Hi everyone, um, so I will present my results on this topic, it's quite a long title, <laughs> and I focused on economy impact on climate change and biodiversity. There are other topics that I could have uh, studied like um, uh, carbon sequestration or soil conservation, but you cannot do everything. Um, and the results are based on reading uh, scientific articles and interviewing foresters in Iceland and in other European countries. Um, and all the pictures that you will see, except the one in Iceland, are from forests um, managed based on this type of management. So you will have some examples. Um, so first I will tell you what is continuous cover forestry, and then I will present the pros and cons of this management, and uh, what can be done in Iceland if you want to. Um, so based on the uh, scientific articles and interviews from experts, in um, uh, uh, continuous cover forestry in um, uh, temperate and boreal forests. We can say that um, it's a management without clear cutting, so you will cut less, but more often. Um, it will give you a mixture of structure, like different ages and size of trees. And uh, as much as we can, we would like to use um, a mixture of tree species. And uh, the key is natural regener regeneration. It will reduce the cost, and it will also sometimes, um, especially in Iceland, the second generation is really interesting in terms of quality, so it could be interesting here. Um, you can plant if you don't have enough natural regeneration, or if you want to introduce a new species in your forest. Um, we thin also, but the thinning is a little bit different uh, from what we used to do. Uh, we don't really care about the location of the trees, we mostly care about the quality. So if you have a group of bad trees, you will remove them. It may make a gap, but then you will have re natural regeneration in it, so it's kind of a good thing also. Uh, so after this kind of thinning, your density in your forest will be variable. Uh, when we harvest, generally in boreal forests we think about um, clear-cutting or seed trees, but it's not continuous cover forestry management. In the continuous cover forestry, we use three other techniques. We use single tree selection. You cut the trees that is of some interest of you, wherever it is in the stand. Uh, we use gap or group selection, or it's kind of really small clear cutting between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 hectares. You can play with the shape of it if you want. You can make strips or round or whatever you want. And um, there is shelter wood system, which looks like even edge management, where you extend a little bit the last uh, part of the rotation. You keep the last trees longer, so your natural regeneration come in. And when the natural regeneration is two to five meters high, it looks like a forest. You cut the remaining trees of your previous rotation. It's controversial. Half of the experts don't consider this as continuous cover forestry because this mixture of ages and size happen only during a short time of the rotation. And the harvest is quite um, more intense than the, the other uh, management. So here is an example of single tree selection. You can see the natural regeneration appear in a small gap in the canopy after cutting one or two trees. Um, here's an example of gap or group selection. You see the natural regeneration has more space, but you can also see that in this natural regeneration, you will have natural selection also. And this is the shelter wood system. You see it look really different from the others. Uh, the natural regeneration did not occur yet because it's not the final uh, failing that, uh, that happened just yet. Um, so that's why it's controversial. It look less like a forest, I would say. Now, the pros and cons. Uh, if we look at the economy part, compared to clear-cutting, continuous cover forestry, 
have no or lower um, uh, plantation, planting costs because you focus on natural regeneration. But because you come more often to harvest, you will have higher harvesting costs. But because you come more to harvest more often, you also have a more steady income. Like you will have lower income, but more often. So it could be interesting for um, small uh, forest farmers um, in terms of economy. Uh, in terms of quality, because you choose your trees, you will produce more solog in your harvest. And because of the continuous cover, you may produce less fruit, but this last point needs to be proven yet. No one agrees totally on that, on this one. So if we look at the researchers, um, they often work with simulation over 100 years. So they look in the future and they say continuous cover forestry on the long term is more profitable than clear cutting. If we ask foresters, um, their answer is based, based on their experience. They don't have 100 years of experience. And continuous cover forestry in, in boreal forest is quite young. So they say it may be more profitable, but we need more proof. So we need more experience in the field to see what is the right answers. Uh, if we look at the impact of climate change, I selected a few threats. So wind is a challenge in Iceland and can become a, even more a challenge in the future. Um, because your harvest uh, is less um, impacted in continuous cover forestry, is more gentle, you will have less wind damages uh, when you work with continuous cover forestry. And uh, if you're, the mixture of species may increase the stability of your stand. Just one mention, in this slide when I mention mixture of species, keep in mind that what's important in the, is the characteristic of each species. It's not the number of species. If you have two species that have the same characteristic, you have no advantages in mixing them. Mixing them. For pests and disease, which can be a problem in now and the future, with, uh, as we saw this morning, um, Mixture of species is uh, like kind of the key for answering this one. Um, it will spread the risk. If you have several species in your forest and one of them is impacted by an insect, you will not lose all your forest. You still have other species to work with. And uh, even if we look at the targeted species, with other species nearby, uh, the damages will be less than if it's alone. Concerning drought, that is not really a problem now, but may become a problem in the future with climate change. The fact that you have uh, several, sta several stages in your forest may protect the young trees from this kind of event, so you will have less dieback. And the mixture of species will not decrease the consumption of water, but it will be more, uh, like it would be better used of the water. If we look at biodiversity, uh, if we compare clear cutting and continuous cover forestry, they each support different type of species. Clear cutting will support open habitat species and continuous cover forestry will support forested species. And because in Iceland there is a lot of open, sp of open space, um, if we focus only on forested species, the continuous cover forestry is the management that is uh, uh, disturbing less the ecosystem of the forests. But even with these advantages, uh, you still have to um, keep some old trees in your stand and dead wood, so the biodiversity um, improves. So what about Iceland? Uh, I think now uh, we have good opportunities to test this management. First, because natural regeneration is happening in a lot of um, species that are used in forestry. And as I told before, sometimes the second generation is even better than the first one. Um, the harvesting method are already used at a small scale in the country, so it's not totally new. Um, lots of Icelandic forests are used uh, at the same time for uh, recreational and wood production, and continuous cover forestry can uh, give both of these um, services. And uh, because of the continuous cover, uh, you may test other species like beech or oak. Of course, there are challenges. Uh, I think the first one is to learn more about continuous cover forestry, especially, specifically for Iceland. 
Um, because you come more often and your impact is um, smaller, you have to spend more time in your forests. Um, the, the, the big interest of continuous cover forestry is producing a good quality of wood. So if you want to have the best of that, um, we need to develop the markets uh, in Iceland. So good price for good uh, quality. And um, also because you want to pick the forest wherever it is in your stand, you need to develop the forest <laughs> roads to be able to harvest them. Um, so the next steps is to test it, I think. And if you want to test it, here are some advices um, to select the forest that you would like to use. Um, the first one is to have a good potential natural regeneration. And potential is important because sometimes due to the density, you don't see the natural regeneration, but you know that it will happen if you thin. Um, and this one is to reduce your cost of uh, planting or regenerating. Uh, you have to have a good potential for quality trees. Also here, potential, like you think about your second generation, potentially you will have a good quality trees. It will increase your revenue. Um, you need a good stability because if you want to change the management in an existing forest, you will have to play a little bit with the density. So probably it will be a little bit um, submitted to wind risk at the beginning, so stability is, is important. A uh, slight slope because if it's too, um, too uh, the s if it's if, oh, sorry if the slope is too high, you will not be able to harvest uh, just one tree at a time, and if it's too uh, flat, you have a f risk of uh, frost. Um, because you come more often, you need to have uh, easy access to your stand, and also to decrease your harvesting cost, you need to be close to a wood delivery point. And the last one is if you have a stand with high biodiversity and recreational value, continuous cover forestry may be interesting because it will uh, give you the opportunity, to, ooh, the opportunity to use it for wood production and while keeping this high value. Thank you, and I also would like to thank all the people who participate to this uh, work with me. Thank you very, thank you very much, Lucy. Very interesting talk. Do we have some questions? Everything was crystal clear for us. <laughs> thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you.